Hello, what's up, and what's up, and welcome back for yet another NCAA 06 Dynasty episode. And in today's episode, the San Antonio Bulls will be taking on the Baylor Bears, and we're also going to be taking on Boise State. Now, the Bears, they come with a record of 0-2. We come in with a record of 1-2, but both of our losses are versus two top 10 opponents, which were Texas A&M, who are ranked number three right now, I believe number three and number four, and then Oklahoma, and they are ranked in the top 10 as well. So, so far this season, you know, even though we have a losing record, I still feel like we have a chance to get to a pretty decent ball game. So that's the goal from here on out, to try and get to a ball game and to try and sign some more top recruits. So right there, Mark Jones gets the first carry of the ball game, picks up a huge chunk of yardage. So we're inside Bears territory already. There goes Jones again, and Jones yet again picks up a big chunk of yards. Now we go to the air. Gaines going to find McPhee. And McPhee's gonna pick up a big first down. So Jones, he gets the carry again, makes one man miss. Whoop! Makes another man miss. Touchdown, Bulls, as Mark Jones gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, SAU. And we're gonna take a early 7 0 lead. So the Bella Bears, they come in on offense. Mitchell, he's gonna drop back the pass, gonna find his man Morris over the middle. And Morris, he makes the catch for a first down. Mitchell drops back the pass, gets hit as he lets it go, but he's gonna find Rodgers, who makes the catch for a gain of seven. Second and three, Rodgers up that guy in the big fullback, bumbles and stumbles his way forward for a first down. First and 10 out to give us to Rose, and he's gonna pick up a modest gain on that one. So they're gonna drop back the pass on third down, and Mitchell connects the dots. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Baylor Bears. And just like that, this game is all tied up at seven apiece. Now, the Bears, they come in at, I believe, 86 overall, or 86 ranked, excuse me, 86 ranked. And we are the 90th ranked team in the country. So, right here, we got to get back on offensive do our thing as we find Spicer, who makes the catch. And now we are back in Baylor Bears territory once again. So, we got this thing all the way down to the 25 yard line. And now we're going to be working from inside their territory. They give us to Jones. Jones gets around the outside, inside the 10-5, gets brought down at the one-yard line. But he's going to pick up a fresh set of downs inside the five-yard line. And Jones is having himself an incredible first quarter. Get the ball right back to him on second and goal. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Jones. And that is going to be his second touchdown of the first quarter. Mitchell looking to throw. Mitchell takes a shot deep. Has a man, but look at that. That comeback speed by my man Graham. He closed the door on that pass pattern quickly. He is the blue chip recruit that we got. The number two strong safety in the country at high school in high school last season. And now he plays for us and he is making plays all over the field. Gaines drops back the pass as we take back over. Gonna find Spicer and Spicer picks up a big first down. McPhee around the outside and then watch the stiffy. Get off, Miss Son, and then check out the spin move. Whoop! He makes another man miss and picks up a fresh set of downs. So we're going to drop back the pass right here. Gains on third, down, throws to the right side, finds Frazier. Frazier puts it on the turf, but we recover the fumble, and luckily we still pick up a first down. So third and 11 now, Gaines dropping back, rolls to the right side, finds Spicer, who makes the catch on third down, and that's going to result in a fresh set of downs. And then Jones, touchdown, not one, not two, but number three of the first half, Jones. Well, yet again, having an incredible first half on the ground. So the Baylor Bears, they take back over. And Mitchell, he's going to find Morris. He picks up a gain of eight. Now they can do a little reverse to Morris, and he's going to pick up the first down. But time is ticking. Only a minute to go in the first half. Rose, he gets upfield, breaks a tackle. But again, the time keeps on ticking off of the clock. Mitchell, under pressure, and he goes down in the hands of the true freshman. My man Pitts gets another sack on the young season. I believe that's his third sack in four games. Second and 17 now. Drop back the pass, and Mitchell's going to find his his man in the flat. He's going to find some running room along the left sideline and pick up a gain of 13. Third and four now. Mitchell under pressure. Going to find his man Hicks and a big tight end picks up a much needed first down for the Bears. And that's going to result in a field goal attempt and the kick is up and the kick is good. So 21 to 10 is the score going into halftime. The Bears, they got some momentum off of that drive and that should carry them in to the second half. So they're going to start off with the ball first and 10 from the 27-yard line. Play action pass by Mitchell. Going over the middle. That's going to be intercepted by Brycey. 
And Bracey, Bracey, whatever his name is, he's going to make a huge interception. And you guessed it, he is also a true freshman. So the true freshmen on defense, they are doing their thing. Right there, McPhee, he's going to make a big time catch. And that's going to result in a first and 10. Now he get the ball to Henderson. Henderson gets the thing inside the 10. Down at about the three yard line. That's a big time carry for him. And then Jones gets into the end zone for the fourth time today. 28 to 10 to the score, and we are putting a flat up beat down on the Bear of Bears. But look at Rogers looking like Mike All oh, start up that guy. And that's gonna result in a big first down. Then Rose, he gets the carry. He's gonna fall forward for a gain of about seven. So it's second and three from the 46 yard line. They give us to Rose again. He got some room to the right side. He's gonna pick up the first down. And now the Bear of Bears, they have the ball inside of the Bulls territory. Third and seven from the 45 yard line. Mitchell throws it one to the flat. And that's not gonna be close enough to get the first down. So get off the field and let's get the ball right back so to give us to Jones knows to play fake and we'll take a shot deep to Spicer boo yeah big time catch right there and that's gonna result in a fresh first and 10 let's go man the running game is working it's opening up the passing game now we're gonna do an end around with McPhee who's in the zone makes one man miss makes two men miss and he's gonna pick up yet another first down as we are once again deep into Bella Bears territory. Gonna take a shot deep over the middle. McPhee catches that one inside the five. And now we got a first and goal. Gonna go to Spicer to the end zone. Touch down Bulls. And now it is a 35 to 10 ball game. So we enter the fourth quarter. The Bears, they are running out of time, and they are running out of chance. It's going to take a shot to the outside. That's going to be caught. But on third down, that is a horrible play call. So we will drive down the field, and we will tack on a field goal. 38-10 to 10 is the score, and now there's only three seconds to go in this one. They're going to run the ball and just concede the feet, and that's going to wrap this one up. So I don't know why she's cheering. I don't know why. Like, check out the scoreboard. Like, what are you doing? Anyways, man, 38 to 10 is the final. This We get a 28-point victory in this one. And it's another big win versus another school in Texas. And that should help us when it comes to recruiting. I believe we have one more game versus a school in Texas, and that will be TCU. And I believe we're going to play them in the next episode, man. But now, we got to set our attention to... Boise State. Now, Boise State, they're one of the better teams in college football, so it's not going to be an easy game, but at least this game is at home. So here we go as we check out the top 25 polls. You will see that up there. Ohio State, Texas ain't number 10 that we lost to is number three in the country. Oklahoma, they were number nine last week. They're number eight this week. We will be playing Penn State last game of the season versus Penn State, and right now they are a top 15 school. So our schedule is a tough schedule, and with us being not the best football team out there, if we continue to win and continue to play good for some of the top opponents, we should be able to get one of the top bowls. Not BCS bowl or anything like that, but at least one of those respectable bowls. Not like the beef over breaking bowl or nothing like that. I don't want nothing like that. We want a good bowl. Trying to build up this program, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into game number two, taking on Boise State. And we give the ball to Jones. And Jones, he picks up a little bit on that one. And then we can find McPhee, who fumbles the football. Okay. Maybe we're a little bit nervous. We're underneath the lights. Got a big-time opponent in town. Okay, we fumble the football. All right. That's right. Third and five now from the 15-yard line now for Boise State. They're going to give the ball to Stucky. And Stucky breaks the tackle, but goes down. And they're going to have to settle for a field goal. So the kick is up, and the kick is good. All right, y'all, here we go. Back on offense. Let's get this thing rolling. Give us to Jones, and Jones fumbles the football. What is going on, man? Back-to-back -back fumbles. We've only won three plays. We have only run three plays, and two of them have been fumbles for losses. Right there, we get some pressure on the quarterback. Now it's on third down, so they'll have to set up for another field goal. So we get the ball back, and we fumble again. So it's six to nothing right now, and we have fumbled the ball three times in a matter of like a couple of minutes. This is ridiculous. So Boise State yet again has the inside of our own 20 yard line. They fake the pitch, gonna drop back the pass, gonna find Love in the end zone, and Love makes the catch, and that's gonna result in a touchdown, and now Boise State is up by 13. We're gonna find Spicer over the middle, finally a play that does not result in a fumble. Now Jones, he has some run room. He gets crossed to 50, gonna cut this one upfield, and we get dropped just outside the 40 yard line. Play action pass now, and down we 
go sacked on the play. Now it's third and eight. Gaines looking to drop back and pass. Big time play right there by the safety, and that's going to result in a punt. So Boise State, they take right back. Over going to find Barry out of the backfield, and Barry's going to pick up a first down. Second and ten. Play action pass now going over the middle to the big tight end, and Washington is marching down the field as he picks up the big first down. First and 10, another play action pass by Boise State. Stops, pops, big time catch right there by Burke. And now they are right back in our red zone. And this game is not going our way at all. Third and eight, play action pass. They're looking to the end zone, caught by Burke. And that's going to result in another touchdown. So already into the second quarter, we are down by 20. We have got to get something going. We're going to stop, pop, take a shot to Spicer. And he can't hang on to the football so that pass falls incomplete second and 10 try to get the running game going and that goes no it's now it's third down third and long looking for my man McPhee and he can't come up with the football and we are forced to punt and if we're showing this most likely it's not going to go away and Burke he gets this thing down the sideline goes untouched to the crib touch down Boise State and it is 27 to nothing in what seems like a matter of seconds we are just getting demolished they sat games on that play second and 10 they get another sack on second downs now it's third in a country mile gonna take a shot deep and that pass drifts out of bounds and that's gonna fall incomplete and Boise State they get the ball right back gonna take a shot to the sideline that's gonna be caught by Love Hopefully we can just hold them to a field goal. It would be even better if we can get a turnover in this situation as they find Washington. And Washington, he's going to pick up a big first down. Now Bradley takes a shot to the end zone. Touchdown, Burke. This ain't going away. I mean, obviously, right? First and 10, take a shot deep, and we finally get something going on offense as we hit LRB, and he's going to get this ball down in the Boise State territory. Now we're going to find McPhee, who gets this thing inside the 10, mark him down at the 6 yard line. First and goal, we're going to find McPhee, touch down SAU and maybe this could be the start of a big comeback third and fourth about 20 seconds ago in the first half they give us a Stucky and Stucky has running on crosses the 50 inside the 40 30 20 10 5 touchdown Boise State and that is going to make it a 41 to 7 ball game going into halftime I, I don't know what's going on but maybe it's just not destined for us to get over 500 Ever. Right there we get another tackle by a true freshman inside linebacker. Right there on third and long they find love, but that's not going to be enough to get the first down. So we get the ball back, but we are down by 34. But we find McPhee right there trying to mount a comeback down 34. It's 41 to 7. Taking a shot deep to McPhee on third down. And that pass falls incomplete so Boise they take right back over second and five play action pass they have a man downfield but luckily we get to the quarterback and that's going to result in a sack so Boise State they still have it looking to the sideline but get 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 that thing up out of here so we take back over Gaines dropping back the pass and he's under pressure nobody open downfield and we take another sack Gaines looking with time but throws it into a crowd and that's going to be intercepted by Boise State and now Boise State once again has great field position and has time to tack on to their already enormous lead. Stucky with the carry goes around the outside. He's going to pick up a couple of yards. Now to give it to the Barry and watch Barry bumble and stumble his way. Got hit a couple of times in the backfield. It doesn't matter because he still picks up the first down. Bradley to the end zone. Diving catch by Burke. And he has four turtle TVs already. This is ridiculous. The give us to Jones is trying to get something going. He picks up a couple. Going over the middle, that pass. That gets knocked down. Now the Broncos, they take right back over and look at the big fullback bumbling and stumbling his way downfield. So this game is basically over. It was over before it started. It seemed like Boise State came to play, and we didn't. And I hate when people use that phrase, or they came to play, this team didn't, because my goodness, just from the get-go, Boise State punched us in our mouths. I mean, three straight fumbles on three straight drives, and it was only a 13-point game. But our net, our offense just never got going until Boise State decided to put the 
put their backups in, and now the running game is going. Then we're going to do another reverse. This is on third and long. We do a reverse, and we pick up the first down. We get this ball up to the 39-yard line of Boise State. Now we give the ball to Henderson. He gets around the outside. He has running room, and Henderson's going to pick up a big first down. So first and 10 now from the 14-yard line. Henderson again. He's going to make one man miss. Then he breaks the tackle, gets into the end zone. Touch down SAU but in front of a empty house it doesn't mean anything except that we are going to fall to two and three so it was a tough one man 51 to 14 is the final Boise State is another good opponent but we should have played much better than what we did man so hope you guys enjoyed the video as always I enjoyed bringing it to you hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day and I'm gonna see y'all later peace Hot sauce